Hey, but first of all, please press on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon on YouTube app and never miss another update. Hi guys, this is TechGuy007. I hope you're doing great. So today, I've got a new video for you guys, which is a review. So I'm going to be reviewing the Wonderfox HD Video Converter Factory Pro. So basically, it's got some features and factors that I'm going to be telling you guys later on in the video. But first of all, let's see how we install this on our computer. And I'll also have the link on the description down below. And yeah, just follow me. What I'm doing is just simple as. All right. So once you visited the website, you want to click on to you want to click on the button free download. So that's going to get downloaded over here. And we'll just wait for this to finish downloading and then we'll install it. Alright, so it's nearly there and as soon as it's downloaded, then we can then install it. Okay, so as you can see, it has downloaded. Now we want to click on that and then it should open a page. And then this page should come up. You just want to say next, agree, install and this should get installed in a few seconds. Okay, just want to tick this and then say finish okay so I've got a free license for this program so I'm just gonna enter it and then come back alright guys so as you know we're reviewing the HD video converter factory pro okay so I've entered my a key and it has accepted it. it says that it's successful so I just wanna press on okay now this is the home page okay so to convert a video to another format we'll have to obviously bring it into this program and then try to convert it I'll just show you guys how so as you can see I've got a file in here it's a video file I'll show you guys what the extension for this will be um, well for now it's mp4 so in here under the type it says mp4 file so basically this is a file with an extension mp4 okay so we want to convert it to something like mov or something else okay so let's go ahead and do that we'll have to open that program up again okay so here we go and then you want to add the file so if I just drag it in here okay so this is the file and I want to convert it so here we go we've got the MOV option available otherwise if you want to change that to something else you want to press on here and then you can change it to WMV or I don't know AVI or whatever you want to do you know so let's go ahead and I will just select MOV okay and then I want to say run so as soon as I click on run it says one task has been finished so it says please click open button to check converted file so I'll just say open and okay so this is the same project and if I just go to view details okay so as you can see it's the same video this is uh, mp4 that it was before and now this is changed to mov okay we can now look into the conversion now we can look at both of the videos to see how good it has been so the conversion has it lost any sort of um, I don't know pixels or is it laggy or whatever so I'll just show you how they are if I just open the one that was from previous alright so I've now opened both of these files side by side and I'll show you guys how they look okay so I've opened one of them in one program and the other on another program it's because it wouldn't allow me to um, open both of them in the same program so on the left we've got the original mp4 and on the right we've got the mov okay let's try again and then this one I don't see much of a difference on them so I believe it's the same so if I do that again I believe that there's no difference as I said before it's just the same as uh, it's just the same as the original version so uh, you can see that it doesn't lag or anything it's pretty straightforward program that you could use for any purpose I mean, like if you give you like a scenario I had a camcorder before and it was basically what was it MTS I think it was an MTS uh, file which I wanted to convert but I until now I couldn't find any program that was as good as to convert them so now that I've got this program 
I'm going to be using it and hopefully it's going to be with me for a very long time. Okay, hopefully you're going to be using it as well. So yeah, just comment down below, tell me what you thought of this program and how it has helped you or maybe helped you in the future. So now a little bit on the description side of this program, on the functionalities, on what it can do, what it's capable of. Okay, so as per the features on the website, it says that it converts videos from and to most popular formats such as MKV, M2, TS, AV, CHD, MPEG-TS, so basically up to 300 video formats. Um, it performs conversions in high definition quality. The high definition ranges from 480p to 4K UHD. It also has outstanding 5x compression rate. It says download any audio or video from websites such as Facebook, Wimu or YouTube etc. Uh, obviously you can convert all of those videos if you want to. Uh, you can extract audio subtitle from the video as well so that's a good thing. A real time saver it is because it's got 50x faster video conversion speed as you know. Now that's basically it for the description side of things. Okay I hope you like this review and uh, on my side uh, for the conclusion yes I think it's a really nice program it's very handy so you don't have to keep on looking for online so you don't have to keep going on online to look for conversions online uh, conversions because usually that would give you a lot of um, you know virus and stuff because obviously some of these so obviously some of these programs come with viruses and uh, you know it's just annoying but this one uh, you can see that there was no viruses around and I thought um, and I think it's a really good program since it doesn't give me any virus and it was, as you could, as you could see it was really quick in converting so it's not really time consuming as well so yeah go ahead and use it take care bye bye and also on the description down below i will be having a link to, to my other channel please have a visit and don't forget and don't forget to subscribe to it if you like cooking and natural remedies that can cure your illnesses okay and obviously share it thank you bye